The King's Avatar, Chapter 1187 Carefully Honed Talent, Audio Source, Wuxia World Audiobook.com Chapter 1187, Carefully Honed Talent Translator, No Yummy Editor, No Yummy Magic Missile Ga Yingji's kind tree started out simple, testing the waters with a not-so-powerful magic missile. Lord Grimm dodged easily. Obviously, he didn't lack in ranged methods of attack. Myriad manifestations umbrella raised three anti-tank missiles seemed to have been swung out, roaring with a fiery tail as they flew at their target. Ga Yingji's kind tree immediately waved a hand, and a star-shaped symbol was tossed out, transforming into a magic ray as it darted forth. Star ray? No. This magic ray accurately struck one of the anti-tank missiles, then immediately rebounded towards another, then another, and then sped right for Lord Grimm. This was a variant of star ray, star refraction. Compared to Star Ray, it wasn't as powerful, but one could utilize the distinguishing feature of this refraction to create unexpected attacks. Currently, after refracting thrice, the three anti-tank missiles had already exploded in mid-air, light flashing and smoke billowing. As for Lord Grimm, he had no choice but to dodge the attack that came refracted at him. With his sidestep, Kind Tree was already charging out of the smoke and fire, directly at Lord Grimm. With a wave of his hand, a lava flask was thrown down, and soon after, he was swinging his broom at Lord Grimm. Ga Yingji's flurry of attacks quickly followed swiftly after his star refraction, barely giving Yi Shu any chance to react. Sword draw. The broom was about to hit Lord Grimm's head when a blade of light flashed out. Because of the myriad manifestations Umbrella's transformative abilities, it often hit a lot of very easily distinguishable skills in strange movements. The sword draw was exactly this. However, the prodigious Gao Yingji reacted swiftly. Kind Tree's advance immediately stopped and turned into a backwards jump. The ground had already melted under the lava flask, but Yishu refused to give up such a good opening. Lord Grimm used a knight's charge and pursued Kind Tree against the damage from the lava. The two figures moved, immediately changing positions. Lord Grimm came over with his charge while Ga Yingji's Kind Tree avoided the attack by getting on his broom mid-jump. Ga Yingji's reaction speed was truly amazing. Even Yishu was a little surprised at his miss. However, a counterattack immediately followed. Broom Tornado just barely dodging this attack by riding his broom, Kind Tree immediately turned his broom and quickly swung it down at Lord Grimm. The entire process looked as if Kind Tree had simply switched directions twice in mid-air, smoothly and clearly. This time, Lord Grimm didn't have the time to dodge. With the rapid spinning of the broom that Broom Tornado created, it was hard to parry as well. Yi Shu could only go on to the defensive, raising his sword horizontally with a blade master's guard. What followed was the continuous sound of the broom clashing with the edge of the sword. Broom Tornado battered at Lord Grimm at high speed, sweeping him back. Star A. Ga Ying Ji wasn't greedy. Just as the broom tornado was going strong, he suddenly cancelled the skill and threw out a star ray. At such a close distance, there was no way Lord Grimm could dodge. The magic ray hit, causing Lord Grimm to stumble. Kind Tree's broom was already enchanted with frost powder. As it was whipped through the air, it left a trail of shattered ice crystals in the air as it slapped down at Lord Grimm. For melee combat, which is mostly just use normal attacks but with specialized magic tools they could enhance their weapon's damage and enchant their weapon with special effects. For example, Frost Powder had the chance of freezing the target directly. Even if you were unlucky, it would still inflict a slow. Everything depended on the target's resistance. Now, the number of pieces of silvery equipment on Lord Grimm's body was slowly increasing, but he still mostly had orange equipment. This meant his stats were easy to figure out. Ga Yingji currently used Frost Powder naturally because he had realized that Lord Grimm didn't have much of a resistance to ice. Slap, slap, slap. That was how witches attacked. 
Even with frost powder, normal attacks wouldn't do any significant damage, but if he was hit and frozen, that would be dreadful. Kind Tree started off with three consecutive attacks which Lord Grimm barely dodged. The fourth attack, Gia Yingji knew the other wouldn't be able to dodge, but that was when Lord Grimm threw a handful of powder over as well. This was... Gia Yingji recognized it immediately, but Kind Tree's attack was already sweeping forth, he didn't have time to retract it. A hit. As expected, Yushu couldn't dodge this attack, but it was just a hit. What could a normal attack do? Freezing effect. It was gone. What Lord Grimm had thrown just now was something Gao Ying Ji was more than familiar with, the witch's disperse powder. The effect of frost powder on his weapon also counted as a buff. When met with disperse powder, it was immediately neutralized. However, only the frost powder was neutralized, not Kind Tree's attack. This hit was just a normal attack without the wanted freeze effect, but with the following attack, Gao Ying Ji was already attempting to inflict his own effects. Sweep. The broom swept up diagonally with a witch's knock-up skill. Lord Grimm was immediately suspended in the air. Gao Ying Ji quickly followed after with Kind Tree to take this chance to unleash a combo, but instead saw the suspended Lord Grimm facing him, looking straight at him. A trap. Gao Yingji instantly realized, when struck with a knock-up skill, it was impossible to adjust your position so well, so there was only one explanation, Lord Grimm hadn't actually been struck. He had merely jumped up. Yishu had predicted his next move and cooperated to create the illusion that he had been struck, and then he would launch an unexpected counter-attack. The light of a blade flashed and Lord Grimm plummeted with a falling light blade. Gao Yingji was already having Kind Tree hurriedly avoid it, but falling light blade. With this attack, it was clear that Yi Shu had once again predicted Gao Yingji's next move. Falling light blade's small shockwave was just enough to capture Kind Tree. Kind Tree, hit by the shockwave, was knocked to the side. Gao Yingji rushed to quick recover, but Lord Grimm had already pursued him over, swing down from overhead with a collapsing mountain. Was Collapsing Mountain a hard-to-dodge attack? No, but the problem was the timing Yi Shu chose. He attacked right as Kind Tree was in the middle of his quick recover. He couldn't really cancel, but continuing wouldn't do him any good, and it was too late to change directions. Another trap. What a troublesome opponent. In the Season 8, Gao Yingji rarely had chances to play, so he hadn't fought Yi Shu before. Afterwards, they had come to a few exchanges in the online game. In the new server, at the beginning, they had been crushed by the unspecialized with their low-leveled classes. There was no helping that. For the unspecialized, if it wasn't for the lack of skill points, the class would be mature at level 20. But what about other classes? When they were level 20, they only had 5 skills for their class. Even if they learn more from other classes of the same type, that couldn't compare to the unspecialized. Fewer skills meant fewer variations, then, considering how they were against God Yishu with his comprehensive knowledge, their attacks would be easily seen through and dealt with. Trang with Yishu in the new server was a painful memory. Back then, Tiny Herbs members all had the same thought. They all believed that their immature characters had crippled their ability, and would naturally be at a disadvantage against the unspecialized. WuxiaWorldAudio.com If it wasn't so, then the result would be very different. Now, fighting Yishu one-on-one, Gao Yingji really wanted to tell those teammates the truth. With a mature character, it really was different from using a low-leveled character, but if you were to say the result would be different when fighting Yishu, that wasn't necessarily true. Even with Kind Tree, Gao Yingji still felt that he was using the low-leveled character he had once used against Yishu. All of his intentions had been seen through, his every move predicted. The attacks God Yishu executed weren't magnificent, but they were inescapable, always timed when you were incapable of dodging. How did he manage to hone his awareness and experience to such a degree? Gao Yingji was suddenly a little envious. He had hand speed. 
He was quick at reacting. He could switch between playstyles and combinations whenever he wished. He was a prodigy. He was far faster at learning, at mastering anything thrown his way than other people. However, it was impossible for him to gain the carefully honed talent God Yi Shu had sharpened from who knew how many battles. It seemed as if everything that he was doing was being discerned and analyzed. This feeling was so intense. Even against his captain, Wang Jiaxi, Gao Yingji had never felt such an imposing pressure. Shouldn't his captain understand him better than God Yi Shu? His usual combinations wouldn't be of any use. He had to do something that the other wouldn't be able to predict. Gao Yingji, after losing the initiative, fell into a helpless situation. No matter how he switched up his tactics, he wasn't able to escape Lord Grimm's control. From the outside, it seemed that he wasn't at such a disadvantage. Occasionally, he would still find chances to counterattack. In the beginning, that's what Gao Yingji thought as well, but soon enough, he realized that while he had accurately grasped these seemingly valuable chances, he never managed to achieve what he had been intending. He could send out a few counterattacks every now and then, but in the blink of an eye, Yi Shu would have taken back the advantage. Thus, he came to a realization. These so-called chances were all under Yi Shu's control as well. No one would dare say that their fighting was flawless, but Yi Shu was able to keep the openings he revealed under his control. Thus, Gao Yingji might have grasped chance after chance, but was never able to make anything out of it. So this was the glory textbook. The strongest player in the history of glory. Gao Yingji gazed at the weird character, swinging a strange weapon, and wearing an uncomfortably mismatched set of equipment, with fearful reverence. He really is strong, but I can't give up just like this. Gao Yingji grit his teeth. Kind Tree didn't have much health left, and he still wasn't able to find an opening to turn the tides. His only choice was to go all out. Dot dot. Glory. When the word flashed on the screen, the match came to an end. So in the end, he still lost. Gao Yingji stared at the fallen Kind Tree, stunned, and chapter.